you're very welcome to the National Botanic Gardens in Dublin to our witch's garden and today we're actually going to talk about wands. So the first of our wands today is actually going to be from the ash tree and you might be familiar if you play hurling or camogie because the wood actually comes from the ash tree for your hurl or your camogie stick. And you'll always recognise the ash tree because it has these beautiful little black tips on the end, these little black buds. The tree itself is native to Ireland and it is the first to get its leaves in the spring and the last to lose them in the autumn. So our next wand is actually a holly wand. And you'll always recognise the holly because it has these beautiful glossy leaves and many of them have these sharp spikes on each side. And this is actually to protect the tree from any animals that might wander past and take a bite. But you might also notice that as it goes higher up the tree, the leaves get less spiky because a lot of our animals aren't that tall here. And you probably won't ever see a giraffe trying to nibble from the top of a holly tree. So there are no spikes on the leaves on the top of that tree. So our next wand comes from the hazel tree. And you'll always recognise it because it has these beautiful big wide leaves on the hazel tree. It's a native plant to Ireland and one of the great sources of food for the early settlers here in Ireland because they could gather the hazelnuts, so it was great nutrition for them. The hazel wand is a very sensitive wand and it often reflects the owner's feelings. You must be very careful if you see a hazel wand because if the owner has been very upset or angry, it hangs on to all that energy and because it's so unpredictable, it might just fly off and release that energy very unpredictably.